just sitting in a tin can, floating in the most peculiar way. But you ride on. Coming to ride you from the Grand Canyon. I know, it just looks like South Texas back there. We got a great camp spot right next to the water closet. Check out my setup here. Using my Jackery. Power my computer. Still got my desk mic. There's the jack wagon. And there's the dude. Now let me teach you how we insulated this thing. Okay, so to get all of these individual pops out, I just used this handy dandy little tool. Popped them straight out. Take this frame out of the way and then it looks like the rest of this is just gonna pull straight down. So I'm gonna give that a shot. So it was as simple as just popping those tabs out of the top of that end paneling there by the door, sliding it out of the way. And then I reached up with both hands and gave the headliner a good yank and it started coming out. Those dome lights come out really easily with just a flathead screwdriver on one side. Pops it out of the way, slide it up to the headliner, and continue the process to just pull that headliner out. And now I need to go pick up some headliner, and here's how I did it with the stuff I found on Facebook Marketplace. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Check it out. Got some new insulation for the van. Awesome indeed. I have an episode on this series in mind coming up ahead to introduce you to that little motorized vehicle that took me to go against the installation. But uh, as you'll see here, I'm measuring intricately each gap and cutting the insulation out and cutting it to fit. As time went on throughout this project, I used the tape measure less and less, which I think is why I really like insulation so much because it's just all kind of basic so here's how the insulation has gone in so far i don't currently have any aluminum tape to tape around the edges so what i did was i just took some duct tape to anchor these pieces up here so that they'll just kind of stay in place so that when i do get time to get some aluminum tape here in a little bit when i run to the hardware store i can come back and seam it um, it's, it's really worked out well that that particular panel on the back end of this air conditioner was pretty uh, tough to pull out at first and I'm not really ready to tackle the front half of the van just yet. So it's up there pretty sturdy. Seems like it's going to be a great way to just kind of do this in sections. That way we can do everything we need to get done back here on all this new floor space we have now and storage space. And then uh, we'll have plenty of room to come back here and work on replacing all this front headliner. I am gonna try and do my best to keep this original AC unit in there. I know it's not the best and probably not recommended, but the lines are already run and it works well when it does work. So. Uh, more on that later, but that headliner has got to go. All that water damage is going to be one of our future projects in order to deter that in the future, especially once we start putting that nice wood paneling up there. Pretty cool so far. Didn't do that gap because I had such a nice finishing edge on this whole insulation piece as it is right now and I didn't want to cut a weird shaped chunk out of it just to not be used. Pro tip, if you look in here, you see how it's split all the way down? Well, that's because there's a wall on the other side here, actually there, right there, that I just came down to a certain point, folded those edges down and then rolled them up underneath to try to give me as much of a continuous sheet across here as possible right now the side stuff it's staying in there just fine and i don't have it taped down at all yet so uh that'll be less duct tape for me to remove later or to tape over so my suspicions about duct tape were right will not hold up to the heat and keep that up there even just tacked for a day 
So I gotta put some of that aluminum tape on there. Let's knock that out. Big shout out to my dad to, for swinging by the hardware store and picking up some of that metal tape for me because I was too busy doing several other things. I actually did this build out the same day that I was doing the bed build from the last episode that I posted. And I really like this stuff. Other than the fact that it is super sticky and it will stick back to itself super easy. So you've got to be sure to just kind of peel as you go and stick it as you peel it. Um, careful with the edges because paper cuts were abound. But, you know, I like the stuff. I like the look. I like the way it works. I'm real confident in it. So after getting all that rear end insulation installed, I did go ahead and decide to pull the rest of the headliner so I could get the rest of it. And what I discovered is I had to pull the shell for this passenger air conditioner unit that's in there. It's super simple. All I had to do was pull the lights individually and each, next to each light there is a torque screw. You pull those out as you go. Keep your nuts in your nut bucket as you go along so you don't lose anything. Pull all this brackets off. It all just slides off super simply and gets it out of the way. So here I am installing. Oh, I'm running the lights from the top. You'll notice later in the video that I have stuck the lights into the side because if you see, there are perfect little holes cut out right there that I can uh, just put those lights in. So all I had to do was pop the wires out with my tab puller and it got them all in there super sleek. And it was almost like they were made for that. So now we get to go in and install the rest of the headliner into the rest of the van. And it was almost uh, in our favor that that air conditioning unit is there because I needed less hands even though Metajane did decide to come out and help. But uh, a lot of that freon hose and power lines and stuff that go to that air conditioner unit really kind of helped with the process really made everything just adhere really nicely and now i can move on to the front headliner as you can tell this headliner is already just completely falling off overnight um it was already kind of loose but now it's bad what i'm going to do is go ahead and take it out now, I've seen a lot of videos where they talk about the B panels on the side. This plastic thing runs all the way down where they have to, they feel like they need to take the whole thing off. Based on what I'm looking at, it's just this top little tab that needs to come out where the hook is. And that was just a real simple pull it off, get your T20 or T25, your star bit that fits, and take it out. So I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of this headliner out. Starting with the visor, then from underneath, there's two more on each side, and then there's two hook call clamps that you gotta kind of roll it out to pull it out out of the way. Make sure all this is empty because these gotta come completely out. After I get these out, take this center piece out right here, and I'm gonna do my best to keep everything in as, intact as good as possible because I wanna reuse this. Um, I like this industrial look we have here. For the rest of the back of the van, actually, Meta Jane likes that look, which is going to save me a lot of work in the long run. But I do want to make sure I get good insulation up behind this to help with some noise dead deadening, as well as that front top above the windshield just creep takes on a whole lot of heat. So the best thing we can do to help keep that out is uh, put some more insulation in that. Meta Jane found my nut bucket. So uh, make sure you try to keep everything as good together as you can. And uh, I'm going to spray some adhesive in that once I get it out of the van so I don't make a big mess in the rest of here. So enjoy the time lapse. It was in my favor because I was doing this by myself for the most part to leave that A panel and B panel in place. I just had to be extra cautious because I wanted to reuse that headliner. It did try to tear on me a little bit there at the front and the back sections when I was trying to squeeze it out because everything's built so tightly whenever they build these things in the factory. But I was able to pull it off and safely and reinstall it safely and take it out. 
So here I am applying some of that spray in adhesive. If I had to do it again, I would probably spray the adhesive, spread the adhesive, then apply the headliner back to its place with the squeegee as I'm using there. Is it got it in there real tight? But as you'll see, there's going to be some spots where it's, uh, where it's a little wetter than it is in other places. But now that I am up in Zion National Park doing the voiceover, I know I started in the Grand Canyon, but we've had some traveling to do. I've noticed that uh, the heat has kind of dried it out, and it's not really as noticeable. It's still there. There's still a few spots, and who knows? We might just stick some patches and stickers over it because we like it that way. Cutting the pieces to fit the headliner here was super simple. Just cut a few lines to allow the electrical cords to go. We're ready to go. We got her all insulated up. Time to put the headliner back in. Somebody threw away my squeegee. Anyways, she's not here to help put this back up. So it could get interesting. Enjoy the time lapse. And again, like I said, because I was doing this by myself, leaving the A and B panels in there, was beneficial because it helped hold that headliner up. I also reused those plastic tabs that you see at the top there to adhere itself to hold it up in its place. And that was really nice. It uh, it worked out well. Had to do it again though. I'll tell you all about Leave it. Leave that A panel and B panel that's on the sides. It wasn't as easy to take it out. I don't really recommend leaving it in if you are planning on keeping your headliner. If you've got the time and the place and the ability, take it out. Take out all the sides and then you won't have to worry about maybe accidentally screwing this stuff up. Uh, there was some like minor tearing and stuff, but it is able to sit back up in here just fine. What I did was where these plastic tabs are where you have to pull it out. Some of them broke back into place. I popped those back out. And I had leftovers from the back of the van that were still in good shape. So I just restuck them back in those holes. And when I reapplied this front headliner, I stuck them back up in there. And it's holding it up there just fine from the tightness of the A panel and the B panels on each side. They're kind of, it's just kind of free sitting right now. So now I just get to go back in put my sun visors back in. Lord knows I need them. I do have to warn you, whenever you are re applying your headliners the side brackets aren't too bad but when you're going up underneath to where the visor that folds down connects those try not to over tighten them on my driver's side next to the window i gave it one too many turns and i saw the plastic crack underneath it's still holding in its place as of now and it's still working but you know just be careful out there so just go back in on each handle, take those four torque screws out, put it back in, give it a few cranks. It's at the, this point that I think I realized I might have cracked it a little bit. Oh well, got to keep going. Don't have anything to replace it with at the moment. And it still seems to be holding fine. Pretty sturdy, looking good, no complaints. Cool. Let's check it out. So that's going to conclude the top half of the insulation. All the way around and through. Meta added these cute little lights so we could get some vibes while we sit in the driveway before we drive. So we got all the insulation put up all across the front and the top. Eventually I would like to go in on the side panels, pull those out, put all the insulation on the side along those as well. Meta doesn't want to do that because that would mean that we have to pull everything out of the van again, strip all those side panels and put them in. And she doesn't want to do that much work before we go. So uh, I can't blame her. Uh oh. Here she comes. So that concludes our part one of the insulation install. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Stay safe out there. And I know times get tough, but no matter what, ride on.